Hi, honey. I'm going to be home late tonight. Again? You've been late every Friday for three weeks. They are working you too hard. You should ask for a raise. I might just do that. I've started cooking dinner, so I'll leave a plate for you to microwave. Best wife ever. Yeah, you really don't deserve me. <laughs> See you later. A lot later. Love you. Bye. Hi, honey. Going to be late again? Really sorry. It's not work this time. I completely forgot I'd go to Jenna's place after work. She thinks she's got rats in the basement and needs her big bro to sort it out. Jenna? Jenna hasn't needed anyone's help since she was five. Except when it comes to rodents. She has a phobia. Okay. See you when you get home. Bye, honey. Hey, Jenna. Has Tommy left your place yet? Uh, no. Was he meant to come over? Yeah, for the rats. Have you been drinking? I have no clue what you're talking about. So Tommy hasn't been and isn't coming over to your house? No. Was he meant to be? I thought so. Maybe he got his days mixed up or something, but then he would be home. Where is he? Oh no. What? Listen, I know Tommy is my brother. And we're not exactly close, but woman to woman, my brother wasn't the most faithful guy when it comes to his past relationships. No. He wouldn't cheat on me, and things have been fine lately. So he's not acting different with you? So he's not keeping his phone close? Shutting his laptop when you walk in the room? Suddenly working late? There have been a few more times he's working late over the past couple of months. He did seem a little down and cranky just before that, but I just figured it was work stress. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't prove anything, but I'd be a little worried if I were you. Thanks for the concern, Jenna, but I'm sure there will be an explanation. Okay, you know best. I would just ask him if he had fun with me. You'll know if he's lying depending on how he answers. Then you can try and work out what's going on before you confront him. Thanks, I appreciate the advice, but I'm sure it's all okay. If you need to talk anytime, I'm here for you. Jenna, I ended up taking your advice. I need to know more about what you said about Tommy not being faithful. He lied, huh? I knew it. Okay, so before he met you, Tommy saw a few women, and he cheated on all of them. I mean, according to the women. Tommy always denied it and said the girls were just crazy possessive. I don't like to say this because he's my brother, but he'd get really nasty about them sometimes. I really didn't like hearing him talk that way. But we've had arguments before. He's been angry, but he's never been nasty to me. Yeah, things are going well with you two. But if you start to question him, I think you'll see a different side to him. I'm so confused. I, I really don't know what to do now. I think you just need to find out what's going on before you say anything. It will be harder for him to talk his way out of it if you know the full picture. I guess. You seem to know a lot about this stuff. Yeah, well... I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm still single. I tend to pick the kind of men where knowing how to snoop is essential. You think I need to snoop? Well, it's up to you, but I would. Okay, and if I was going to do this, where would I start? His phone. You need to get into his phone. I know he's my brother, but he's not that bright, bless him. I bet his pin code is his birthday. I can't believe I'm even thinking of doing this. Hey, you don't know anything yet. There might still be a reasonable explanation. And if there is, you have saved yourself a lot of upset. I guess. I mean, honestly, I think there's only one real possibility, but you never know. Thanks, Jenna, for the support. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but thank you. No problem. Us girls have to stick together. And you will do it. You won't be able to help yourself. You were right. I looked at his phone while he was in the shower. And? There was nothing weird on there. No dating apps, no suspicious emails, no chats with unknown women. Did you check all the chats? Even the ones with men? No. Why? You don't think he's cheating on me with a guy, do you? Jeez, you're more innocent than Bambi. What's the best way to hide a chat with a woman you're hooking up with? I'm lost. Give her a male name in your contacts. That way, even if she phones when your wife is around, it just looks like some dude is calling him. Tommy just wouldn't be that sneaky. 
but I will check, just to put your mind at rest. Yeah, right. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Oh god, Jenna. I checked the mail chats. There was a Danny. We don't know a Danny. Tommy has never mentioned anyone called Danny from work, and I know all the guys he works with. And? He has definitely been meeting Danny, whoever that is. But the messages aren't super intimate. It's more practical, like what time and place to meet, and messages saying he's arrived. But that definitely means he's meeting someone behind your back. Yeah, it does. I think it's time to talk to Tommy. Maybe. Or you could just keep an eye on the messages and wait until he arranges to meet Danny again. Then you could go and see for yourself what's happening. I don't know. All this spying and sneaking around, it's making me feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's Tommy who puts you in this position. He's the one lying. And I can tell from the way you said the messages weren't intimate that you're looking for some way to make his whole thing an innocent misunderstanding and brush it under the carpet. Tommy will spin some lie that is half convincing and you'll cave. This way, you'll know for sure. Either way, no doubts. Okay, you're right. Just keep me posted. I will. So I looked at the chat again. He's meeting her at a restaurant tonight. And there's more. Danny asked if Tommy was going to tell your wife about me soon and said, I feel bad sneaking around. That looks like a smoking gun to me. Yeah, I think you're right. Are you going to follow him tonight? Yes. I can't explain why, but a part of me still doesn't quite believe it. I need to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, I get that. Little word of advice, though? What is it? Don't freak out and confront him in the restaurant. You'll just end up looking like the crazy one. You don't want to get kicked out of a restaurant by security. Or worse, cops. I speak from experience. I don't think I'll be angry. Just really, really hurt. Aw, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Remember, I'm here for you. Thanks. I'll text you when I get to the restaurant. I want to get there before them. Okay, good luck, I guess. Hi, honey. Gonna be a late one again. Okay. I haven't started dinner yet, so I can have it ready for you when you get home. Don't worry about that. I can just heat it up again. No, it's fine. I was thinking you're working so hard lately, and you must be starving when you get home. And all you get is a plate of food to reheat. So I thought I would make you a lovely roast dinner with all the trimmings. Oh, well, that's great, but honestly, I'm never that hungry when I get home late. Okay. Well, I tried. Are you okay? Fine. It's just... You were a little off with me for the last couple of days. Really? Let's put it down to women troubles. You mean woman's troubles? If you say so. Okay. See you later then? Yep. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm across the street from the restaurant. There's a cafe, so I'm sitting by the window. I even got a menu to hide behind if I see him coming. Smart! Seems like you're getting the hang of this. Oh god, he's here. He's alone. Have any women gone in alone since you've been sitting there? No, just couples. So chances are she hasn't arrived yet. Keep watching. There's a woman who just walked up to the restaurant steps, checked her phone, then went in. But she was really young. Surely that can't be her. Yeah, because middle-aged men never replace their wives with a younger model. That is not a helpful comment to make right now. Oh, no. You were right about everything. He is with her. I can see them taking their seats at a table by the window. The way he smiled at her when he saw her. He's never looked at me that way. He adored her. Okay, I'm so sorry. I really didn't want to be right. I feel sick. I don't know what to do now. What do I do now? Take some deep breaths. And when you feel okay to drive, go home. And message me when you get there. I'm home. I'm a wreck. I cried all the way home. God knows how I'll be when he gets back. Normal. Huh? Listen to me. This is really important. 
When he gets home, act normal. Like you haven't found out your cheating scumbag husband is a cheating scumbag husband. Okay? Why? I know everything I need to know. But you don't know Tommy as well as you think you do. And I don't just mean he cheats. He has a nasty temper when he's cornered. No, not Tommy. He's the calmest person I've ever met. Sorry to put it this way, but you couldn't believe he could cheat on you a few hours ago. Are you saying you think he might hurt me? I'm saying you don't want to be around him when he's angry. If I were you, I'd keep quiet tonight and then get out and just break contact. Any talking can be done through lawyers from a safe distance. I feel like I'm not sure of anything anymore. I can't quite believe he's cheating still and now you're telling me Tommy has a dark side I know nothing about? My head is spinning. I can't think anymore. Then let me think for you. We need to get you out of there. Please, just get through tonight and message me as soon as he's left for work. Okay, I guess. So I did what you said. I acted as normal as I could manage. He knew something wasn't quite right. But he couldn't tell I was on the verge of tears every time I looked at him. He's at work? Yeah. So pack a bag and go, and take as much money out of the ATM as you can. It wouldn't shock me if he canceled your card. Go where? To a friend's place? One Tommy won't know the address for. I guess there are some friends from college he wouldn't even know. Great. For now, just pack your bag and get out quickly. You can make some calls once you get out of the house. And keep messaging me, okay? I'll be worried about you if you don't keep me posted. Okay, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, I'm out. I'm about to set off to a friend's place. It's a nine hour drive and I don't think Tommy even knows her second name. Well done. Take a couple of days to decompress. Then we can find a lawyer for you. I guess none of this feels real yet. I'm sorry things turned out this way. I thought Tommy had changed when he met you, but I guess a leopard can't change its spots. Don't blame yourself. I don't know what I would have done without you helping me. Okay, message me when you're there and I'll message you if I hear from Tommy. Tommy, I've seen and been told so many things I can't believe. I've been told to get away from you, and I've done it, but before I go, I just want to know one thing. What's going on? Are you alright? I'm going to call you. No! I really can't deal with hearing your voice right now. Just tell me truthfully, why did you cheat on me? I haven't! I really haven't! Tommy, just stop. I saw you with my own eyes. I went to the restaurant where you met her last night. I haven't been having an affair. But I have been hiding something from you. I'm so sorry. I should have told you sooner, but I was waiting to be sure. That, that girl you saw me with? That is my daughter. Her mom and I went out for about three weeks, then she just up and left. She never told me. Charlotte, that's her name, said her mom told her. She thought I would try to make her get rid of the baby, and she didn't want that. Now she's moved away from her mom, she decided that she wanted to make contact with me. I'm so sorry I put you through this. I really was going to tell you, this weekend in fact. Charlotte would like to meet you. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's huge news. Assuming this is true, I'm still really angry with you. You should have told me this as soon as she contacted you. And by the way, I would have been fine with it. Yeah, I see that now. I made the mistake of listening to my sister. Jenna? Sorry, your sister? Jenna? Yeah. Sorry I told her first, but I had to confide in someone. I feel sick. Tommy, your sister! She's... There's something very wrong with Jenna. I'm calling you. Make sure you're sitting down. It's quite a story. Okay, I've made it. Have you heard anything from Tommy? Yeah, it was bad. At first he just didn't get what was happening and was worried. But I told him you called me to say you knew he was cheating and were leaving. That's all I said. I was scared to let him know I was involved. He was raging. Yeah, he is pretty angry at the moment. But more hurt than angry. And a little like I was. When I couldn't quite believe what I was being told. He can't believe his own sister could be such a grotesque human being. Even while he sat next to me. Reading your lies. 
He's not raging. We both need to know why you did this. Do you really hate me that much? You? I don't care about you. It's Tommy. I hate him. That's right, Tommy. I guess you're reading this. Mom and Dad never stop talking about their amazing son. The one who went to college. The one with the amazing job. The one who got married. You know they're thinking about giving you their house in town? Now you're settled down with a wife? I slogged my guts out for them. I don't just work in their shop. I run their business. And no one even notices me. When you told me about your daughter, I knew what would happen. Mom and Dad would be thrilled to have a granddaughter, and I'd be back up the queue as usual. So I figured, why should Tommy have it all? I took my chance to get justice. Jenna, I'm so sorry for you that you could be this bitter, that you would enjoy causing so much pain. Oh, please. I don't need pity from an idiot like you. So trusting, so pathetic, so easy to manipulate. Was I, though? You never quite convinced me, did you? If you had, I wouldn't be with Tommy right now. And there's nothing wrong with being trusting. It's wrong to abuse someone's trust. I'm done talking. There are more important things to deal with than a lying sister-in-law. Tommy said he needs some time before he can talk to you, so just leave us alone. Fine. I'm done with you anyway. Grow up, you stupid, selfish girl. It took a little while for me to stop being angry that Tommy hadn't told me about Charlotte as soon as she got in touch. But I did eventually, and I'm sure the whole thing has taught us the value of being open with each other. It's taking us a little longer to get over what Jenna tried to do to us. Her parents were appalled at what she had done, but they also said that maybe they hadn't given Jenna the credit she deserved too. They insisted that Jenna had therapy if they were going to continue their relationship, and we've even been to some family therapy sessions. The wounds are beginning to heal, but it's going to take time. It's been a wonderful experience having Charlotte in our lives. She very quickly became part of the family, and I'm looking forward to our first family Thanksgiving together. I'm hosting. Tommy has promised he won't be late.